Oh, goody, another horribly made horror game. The first thing you say is a damn complaint. Honestly, it's impressive. This is SCP Containment Breach, a game about a private facility used to contain dangerous organisms. I think I've heard the slogan before. Secure, contain, protect. Yep, that's what SCP stands for. Let me guess. You know everything about this game, like the foreskin measurements of some of the characters. What? Actually, I only know a few select things. I'm going in pretty much blind, more than I already am. Interesting. I'll be the first one up to bat then. So we have absolutely no idea what we're getting ourselves into. Fantastic, it's like my inauguration. What a ceiling to wake up to after a nap. Wow, amazing view here. I almost mistook this for the Bahamas. Just think, Don, this will be you one day. Yeah, real good joke you made. The core of American principles are crumbling at the foundation and you're over here cracking jokes like eggs. Don, it's literally not that deep. I like our living quarters here. Are we actually in prison or something? Well, if you take a look at that paper, we're actually an inmate on death row and we were offered this opportunity to be pardoned of our offenses. We have to cooperate with all of the instructions we're given and if we don't, we're sent back to death row. Let me take a gander here and yep, that's what it says. Did you really doubt Joe? He knows more about horror games than his own damn anniversary. Who the hell is at the door? Well, if we're in a prison, most likely prison guards. So that means you should probably listen to them. Great unneeded authority. Are these umbrella soldiers? I think we're in some high security facility. Look at their equipment. Well, no shit, Captain. Obviously, we were an entire death row inmate. We had to do something nefarious. They probably looked at your browsing history. Yeah, because they would have shot you on sight if they saw yours. Well, this looks promising. Yeah, let's instantly trust the random. What the hell is that? Why does it have shit stains on its legs? Barbie didn't really choose the best life decisions. Origin is as of yet unknown. It is constructed from concrete and rebar with traces of Krylon brand spray paint. SCP-173 is animate and extremely hostile. The object cannot move while within a direct line of sight. Line of sight must not be broken at any time with SCP-173. Object is reported to attack by snapping the neck at the base of the skull? Basically, the second you look away, he'll teleport to you and instantly kill you. Seems like the average resident of Vermont. You're just going in guns blazing, huh? No point holding back. Whoa! I don't like this. You're gonna wanna focus, Barack. Don't worry, I am, Joe. I, I'm staying as far away from that thing as possible. And whatever you do, do not look away. Trust me, I had no intention. This guy's fucking stupid for just approaching it like that. Not much of a choice. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. I'm staying near this door. Yeah, don't get back in that chamber. I don't know what to do if I'm being honest. What's happening? Brock, just keep looking. Oh shit, they're dead. Back up from the cell, Barack. On it. What the hell happened? You hear that? I doubt guns will work on that thing. Go back to the save point and save the game immediately. Already doing it. Shit just went from zero to 100 real damn quick. And with that, welcome to SCP Containment Breach. Yeah, where they're as secure as a sports bar. I won't lie, Joe, I'm very on edge right now. This, this is a wild feeling. That's probably because this is a whole new game. No, this isn't anything close to games like Poppy Playtime or even Neff. I mean, my hairs are standing upright. That's what Containment Breach will do to you. This game has a bit of helplessness to it and that's because of the pacing. You go from this, this calm and controlled atmosphere to an absolute nightmare meltdown in the matter of seconds. I think that and the fact that I have no clue where to go and, and no time to make a decision. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I can even hear all the screams throughout the facility. It, it's like they're uh, at a Taylor Swift concert. Well, that's reassuring. I can see the comparison to a Taylor Swift concert, except they're dying a horrible death. Let's be real, Joe. Death can't be much worse than a Taylor Swift concert. Might actually be better if I'm being honest. Well, these screams certainly aren't helping with staying calm. Just remember that it's only there to set the ambience. This place is scary, but also massive. I have so many places that I can go, but I'm afraid something terrifying is down there. It's only one monster, and you should be fine as long as you stare at it. Actually, it's not just one SCP. It's an entire containment facility for them. Say what? SCP-173 won't be the only monster you deal with. Assume that every single room that held these SCPs has been opened. You're fucking joking, right? I have no motivation to throw jokes right now, Don. Everything I'm telling you is serious. 
you guys going to say something or what? We're an inmate, right? We probably don't have anything to live for in the free world. We might as well just end it here. A death row inmate, so we, we really don't have anything back at home. I think you know what that means. SCP-1123 is a human skull missing the lower mandible and all its teeth. Across the forehead is modern Khmer script, written in human blood. That translates as, remember, when a subject approaches STP-1123, they will report anomalous sensory phenomena. Whatever the hell that means. Basically, you would experience hallucinations while approaching it. But this goes to show that not all SCPs are technically dangerous. Yeah, they're only in a whole damn facility. I'm really not liking these noises. What are you going to say next, Joe? Are the FNEF animatronics here too? Do I have to see Foxy doing the cha-cha slide towards me? No, but to be honest, they probably need to put spring trap here. Why do you say that? Just things. Can I say really quickly that I have absolutely no idea what the hell to do? Well, you already know that you need to get out of this place. A while back, you tried to go into a room, but you couldn't. Now, the reason why was because you needed a certain key card. Finding key cards to access different rooms will help you advance faster. Got it. Yeah, exactly what you said. I guess my problem is that I'm also being super cautious, especially because I have absolutely no clue what we're dealing with. This seems like it's just a giant damn storage unit for these things. Well, yeah, it's almost like it's called a fucking containment center. I didn't ask for the attitude, Joe. In fact, I don't believe I asked for your input at all. You're like the creepy uncle nobody wants at family gatherings, but they have to invite you because they're related to you. Well... That doesn't sound like he's having fun. Obama, what are you doing? Avoiding all of that, whatever the hell is going on there. I don't think you have to be super cautious, considering you have a pretty good field of view for seeing what's ahead of you. Just make sure to be on your toes when stuff pops up. Are you forgetting who you're talking to? Obama's cautious to speak up to his own damn wife. He's sure as hell gonna look at every nook and cranny before moving forward. First of all, fuck you. Second of all, stop mentioning my wife. Third of all, I'm in a death pit asylum full of Scooby-Doo villains. What do you want me to do? Business as usual because you just described the damn Senate. I've made almost no progress this entire game. I'm starting to, what the hell? The fuck is happening? Get out of there. I am, I am. Oh, that's not good. Try to go around it. That's what I'm gonna try. And... Donald, why the hell do I ever listen to what you tell me to do? The fuck do you mean? You didn't even try to avoid it. It was like you cartwheeled in front of it. What even killed me? I don't really know. Like I said, this game really isn't my expertise. Not yet, anyways. Well, Donald, do you want to take the next turn? You're damn right I will, and I'll be the very best at it. I always knew you were the best inmate.